Hey everyone, welcome back to my kitchen and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a great monthly freezer meal prep. And all the meals that I prepped this day, I really had in mind for whenever we came back from vacation, since we were going on vacation this month. I wanted the week after we came back to be smooth sailing, just to get back into routines. So having meals that were ready to go then was super important. And you're gonna see as I am wrapping up these meals to put them into the freezer that I am putting both a press and seal on them and a tin foil I don't always do that but whenever I know that the meals could be in the freezer for a little while and not eaten up pretty quickly then I like to give it that double layer so the first thing that I am prepping here is a great beef stroganoff I haven't made this in forever and as usual I am using a gluten-free pasta so this is gluten-free friendly and while the mushrooms were getting all soft and cooked up I did pull out some pork chops I found this little recipe on Pinterest and as usual I will leave the links for everything below but it's just a nice pineapple ham pork chop recipe and the little marinade that goes on top was really simple like I said I was busy getting ready to leave and I just wanted some easy meals to throw together so you just want to put the pineapple rings on top of the pork chops and I always recommend getting a nice thick pork chop cut I feel like that gives you a nice juicy pork chop and I probably will be making these up in the oven just letting them slow cooked so that they are nice and tender. And as a side with these pork chops, I probably will pull out some of my canned carrots or my home canned potatoes, just easy stuff for the week after we come home. I put the pasta in to boil and personally I feel like these chickpea pastas do kind of tend to stay a little on the tougher side so whenever I'm going to freeze them I do like to cook them just a little bit longer just to make sure that they're nice and tender when they come out of the freezer and I'm reheating them. So you do not need to be intimidated to make your own sauce it's really really simple you just need a lot of butter and with this recipe they actually cook up the mushrooms and the onions along with the sauce and then you're going to slowly add in some flour and this is not gluten-free flour however I do think that a one-for-one one gluten-free flour would do amazingly with this and if I would have thought about it I would have grabbed my gluten-free flour and tried it right on camera but I was in a hurry this day and I didn't think about it. You also add in some sour cream and some cream cheese and if you want it to be dairy free you could obviously just throw in some dairy free alternatives for that. And as you can see this month I am using disposable pans again just for the conveniency of making everything run smoothly when we came home. Hey guys, I wanna take a quick minute to say a big thank you to Ritual for sponsoring this week's video. Ritual is the obsessively researched multivitamin reimagining health from the ground up. It contains nine high quality nutrients from D3 to omega-3. Things are hard to get enough of even with a good healthy diet. They're vegan friendly, non-GMO, gluten-free, allergen-free, and does not contain any added sugar. Transparency is at the source of everything that Ritual does. From the way the nutrients are sourced to the environmental impact of all the orders that are shipped out. They also offer a men's multivitamin 50 plus a prenatal, postnatal, kids, and teen vitamins. And recently launched an essential protein range. There is a mint tab in every single capsule so it keeps your breath nice and fresh and whenever I open this bottle it is so minty and refreshing. I am someone that cannot take vitamins on an empty stomach and they've even thought of that 
that and put everything in a slow release capsule so it's easy and gentle on your tummy. Finding good vitamins that you can trust for your whole family can be difficult, but Ritual definitely puts their best foot forward and offers you a great quality product. Better health does not happen overnight, and right now, Ritual is offering you 20% off your first month. So check out the link in the description box to get 20% off of your first order, and I hope that you love Ritual as much as I do. Okay, so back to cooking. Now we are going to be prepping some easy chicken fajitas. You all know that every other month or so I do these. They are just an easy thing to prep and it normally just takes a lot of cutting and chopping, but on a busy night, it's nice to be able to dump it all out of a bag and throw it in to the frying pan or you can do them in the slow cooker throughout the day and then you're ready to make fajitas at night. I just personally prefer to actually make them in the frying pan and get a little bit of char on the outside of the veggies and meat. Another little tip I'm going to give you is in the past I've thrown the chicken right into the bag then added the spices and I felt like it didn't cover each piece of chicken very well. So this time I decided to lay it all out on the cutting board and shake all of my spices over the top of the chicken and it got each piece of chicken covered in spice. If you watch my channel regularly, then you know a couple videos ago my pressure cooker completely stopped working. The electric had flickered and I think it fried the heating element in it. And so I got rid of it and I went ahead and ordered a new one. And I'm so excited about this one because this is a 10 quart. And my other one I think was either six or eight. I think it was six. So this is much, much bigger. It is made by Crock-Pot. I will um, leave a link for it in case you're interested. They also make one that is a 12 quart, not Crock-Pot, but another brand. And I just was like, you know what? That, um, that might just be too big. I don't often cook like really huge turkeys or anything like that. But having something that is a 10 quart, if you're someone that does a lot of food prep, a lot of freezer prep, a lot of canning and food preserving, this is super helpful. And it's just so nice and big. And this is my first time I'm using it, so I'm really excited to see how it works. It seems like it will work pretty similarly to my other one. And it also came with this little roasting rack, which I thought was kind of cool, because there's been things at times that I would like to do in the pressure cooker, um, but just having a rack makes it a lot more helpful. And then it just lifts out like this. And my other one was um, like a stainless steel on the inside, and this one seems to have some kind of non-stick coating, which I'm actually okay with, um, as long as I take good care of it and make sure that it doesn't get scratched. Um, because the other one stuff would stick to it sometimes so this one I think will be really nice to have that one of my favorite things to make in the pressure cooker is mashed potatoes because it cooks the potatoes up really fast and it helps to make them without them getting too like watery and mushy another goal that I had in this prep was to use up things that I had around the house so they weren't going to sit an extra time since we were going to be gone um, at least over 10 days so I just wanted to make sure that everything got used up and I had a lot of extra potatoes because I had bought over a hundred pounds of potatoes to can potatoes and these were just a few that I hadn't gotten done and they just needed to be used up so I decided to use them in two different ways on this day and one of them was to make mashed potatoes and by the way I absolutely loved how this thing worked. I felt like it worked perfectly and I'm really excited to keep using it and to use it for new things, especially things like whole chickens that were more difficult to fit into my smaller pressure cooker. The second way that I was using up the potatoes was to make a great potato bake and as always you want to blanch potatoes before you freeze them so I blanched these for about four minutes which just means you want to drop them into some boiling water for about four minutes and then after that you want to rinse them off and get them cooled off because otherwise they can turn black. I've done it both ways where they haven't turned black 
um, and I just froze them raw and they were fine. I think it just depends on how they're thawed out. So as you saw, I did open up some bacon for that potato bake, and then I went ahead and made up some meatballs. Meatballs and mashed potatoes are one of our favorite meals, and I love this caramelized onion burger seasoning. I've been getting it at Sam's Club, and it just takes burger and makes it so good. It makes excellent burgers, and I thought it would be really, really yummy in some meatballs. And then I did use our favorite barbecue sauce, which is a sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. All right, so my potatoes were done boiling and I just dumped them off and then I just ran cold water over them and put them in with the chicken and the bacon. I love doing potato bakes like this with bacon. It makes it so simple. And then I used my Auntie Nono's everything seasoning. It's a little bit like a ranch seasoning, so you could open up a ranch packet and dump it over this as well. At this point, the potatoes were done and I did a manual release on the top. And this pressure cooker has the feature where it has a small knob towards the front so you don't risk steaming your hand. And then I just used up things that we had around. Again, I was trying to use up stuff that was in the refrigerator. So I used that buttery steakhouse seasoning. Again, one of my favorite seasonings, especially for vegetables. And then I had a lot of sour cream I was trying to use up. So I just mashed up the potatoes with my little chopper that I often use for burger. And then at the end, I just ran my immersion blender through it just to get it a little bit more mashed. And then whenever I get this out of the freezer, I will just let it thaw on the counter for a few hours before I pop it in the oven and heat it the whole way through. Next, I just did a simple chicken marinade. I threw the chicken breasts into a bag. I put a little bit of some olive oil, some parsley, some basil, and you're gonna see me scoop out of my honey here in a minute. I have bought honey in a five gallon bucket and it's so delicious because it's raw honey. You're gonna see it looks very creamy and I have yet to divvy it out into jars. I may do that in a video here soon just to get it a little more manageable instead of having to run to my five gallon bucket every time I want some raw honey. But it adds such a punch of great flavor in marinades like this so this was like a honey mustard style marinade so this is all i got prepped this day i know it's a quick prep next to my normal videos but i wanted to get this in before you left for vacation if you're new here don't forget to subscribe give this video a like and leave a comment below that always helps me out and i'll see you all in my next video